Hey, Gary Baker here from 30minutemarketing.net. This video is a quick review of Aurora. You can see the list of benefits here to include 500 traffic sources from one dashboard. We will be taking a look inside of Aurora and walking through each of the 500 or so tools that you get in here and talk about if you really need them or not. Aurora is from Billy Dar, Finn Goswami, and Justin O'Pay. Again, the benefits of Aurora. Finally end the traffic problem. The latest cutting edge technology. 500 traffic sources from one dashboard. Find hot offers directly from the app. Leverage videos without creating one. 100 plus video templates included on front end. Why do you need 100 video templates if you can leverage videos without creating them? That's a good question, but I want to focus on 500 traffic sources from one dashboard. What do you need to build a business on the internet? You need the internet. You need a computer. Then, after you have the basics, you need web hosting and you need an email autoresponder. And then after that, you need to create content. Those are the steps you need to take to build a business on the internet. So if and when you need to purchase a tool like Aurora, what are you really getting? So inside of Aurora, they have a dashboard here. Again, created videos 42. It was stated here that you could leverage videos without creating them, but inside of Aurora, they have a video creator. But we'll get to that in a minute because the first thing you need to do is import your account. As you can see in the access here, an account has been imported into Facebook and now Aurora has access to the pages that you have under your control. So you need to create some Facebook pages and you need to create content on those Facebook pages. Next, you'll set up your connectivity settings. So you'll need to get a Google API key, a Moz access ID, a Moz secret key, a virus total key, a Bitly generic access token, and a rebrandly API key. You'll need to do all that without any training because there is no training here in this interface that shows you how to do any of this. Of course, this product launches on May 8th, 2021. This is May 7th as I shoot this video. So the training, if there is going to be any, is not in here for me to see. After you figure out how to get your connectivity settings all set up, you can click here and search for deals. Deals from JVZoo. So JVZoo deals, they tell you the name of the deal, the feature date, and the detail. And then you can look at the sales page or you can grab the deal which takes you over to the page where you can actually get your affiliate link, which is not guaranteed. But what about any of the other statistics about the stuff that's going on on the JVZoo deals and why you might want to promote them? You would still need to go to JVZoo, log into your account, go under affiliates to look and find products, and then you could see the number of, number of products sold, the conversions, the EPCs, the average price, the commission, the refund rate, all important aspects of promoting a product as an affiliate. None of that information here. Deals from Warrior Plus. Same generic output here. Again, simply go to Warrior Plus Affiliate Offers, and here you can see all the pertinent information. The number of sales, the conversion rate, the visitor value, the average sale, and of course, the all-important refund rate. Same for ClickBank. Here you can see some deals on ClickBank, but no pertinent information. You would need to go to the ClickBank Marketplace manually still, look at the marketplace to find out average percent of conversion, look at things like initial conversions, recurring billing, check out the gravity, and etc. So that's really not a shortcut because it's not giving the information that you need. Here's the video creator. Go ahead, click create new video. Here you have a list of templates. We'll go ahead and select this medium rectangle template. It will launch the video creator. And here you have the ability to create videos or do what you can do inside of something like Canva. Of course, canva.com is free and you can select here and you can create videos. Of course, videos for Facebook. It simply launches, you select one and you go about creating your video, just like what you paid here for in Aurora if you were to purchase it. So let's go ahead and select this video right here again. And let's go ahead and say that we want to use this video. So we'll go ahead and click download. It's auto saving. You cannot edit further once you confirm. Yes, I am done. Previewing, and we're still waiting here for this to preview. This is quite the process, it does appear. So while we're waiting on that, oh, here we go, processing the video. 10, 11, okay, so it's going rather, rather quickly. While we're waiting on that, let's pop over to Canva. 
let's go ahead and process and download this video, MP4. Downloading. Back to Aurora. It's still 70, 75, 40, 81. Canva is downloading the video there, MP4. Of course, we started the Canva download before or after we started the Aurora download, and it is almost finished. And there you go, the Canva video has just downloaded back to Aurora. It is still processing. Now, where did it go? It didn't download the video. Where is the video? Download, autosave. So I'm not quite sure what happened here, but the video did not download from Aurora. Auto saving again, walk through this process. We'll come back to that and check it later. So that opened in a new tab to launch the video creator. So we'll go back to the other tab, here we go. So back here on the Aurora menu, social blast. Here is where you can blast out your campaigns that you create inside of the Aurora dashboard to all your traffic sources. So here you have Facebook, Facebook Messenger, Twitter, Pinterest, WhatsApp, Viber, Snapchat, LinkedIn, Reddit. Of course, you will need an audience established on these platforms if you want to social blast it and get traffic. So we'll go ahead and click Facebook and social blast. And you can see here you can share on Facebook by clicking this link and it would share on your Facebook profile. So that's how the social blast, or that is the 500 traffic sources, I'm assuming, which aren't 500 traffic sources, but your typical traffic sources to include MySpace, Mean, Mean, uh, Me, Threema, and the ever-popular Ode Knock Last Nikki. All right, moving on. Social poster. Here you can create a Facebook post, multimedia post, campaign list. Click on this, you can create a post, you can schedule a post. Of course, you can do that on Facebook. We'll go ahead and click that. Here you can create a post and then it will schedule the post and it will post it to Facebook for you. Subscriber Manager. Here you can sync your subscribers, sync your, sync your bot subscribers, you can add labels and tags. Also, SMS and email subscribers. Here you can manage, import. Go ahead, click Actions. Here you have the option to add contacts. So you can add contacts manually. Or there should be an option here to import. So you can click here and you can import your Microsoft Excel list of your contacts. Again, contacts that you will need to have that you generated from your content that you created. Again, using the tools that you have to have to create and run a online business. Create content, email autoresponder, web hosting, a computer, and a connection to the internet. Again, that is where you import your contacts. We'll move on to Messenger Bot. Here you have a Messenger Bot where you can connect and create a template. So let's see, you can create a new template. Click that, and here is your template name. Test, and here you can say test auto comment to auto post. Save that. That is successfully saved. Now that is one of your comments that will auto post apparently to your messenger bot. I don't see anywhere where we actually set up our messenger bot. And again, there is no training here that shows me how to use that. So we'll move on to email marketing. Email marketing. Of course, you need an email autoresponder. We already covered that. So here you have templates, email templates. Click actions. We'll go ahead and open up the rich text editor. And here you go, you can create an email template. You can create an email, test email, subject, test subject. Here I could create an email. Hello, buy my stuff, spam. And of course then you could bold that, you could highlight that, and then you could save that as your template. And then you can view your template, you can edit your template or delete your template. Then you go back to broadcasting. And here's where you would actually set up your email messenger broadcasting. You can set up a one-time subscriber broadcast to your chatbot. You could send an SMS campaign or you can send an email broadcast. 
Let's discuss this. Email broadcast. You will need to set up your API settings here. You will need an SMTP API, a Mandrill API, or a SendGrid, or a Mailgun API. So you will need to go to sendgrid.com and you will need to explore the right plan for your business. Here you can try it out. You can integrate fast and explore features with a hundred emails per day forever. And you can set up a SendGrid account and you can start for free. Of course, if you wanna send more than hundred emails a day, you will need to upgrade to the essentials plan that starts at 14 dollars and 95 cents a month and then the price plans go on for there so notice that you will need to do that again if you want to do sms broadcasting this would be the same you would need to go in here under actions you would need to select an api key and you would need to set up a default gateway here and you would need to pay or use one of the free plans that you see here so you would need to go establish that account to make aurora work so there is some additional setup and some additional accounts you will need to configure to get email marketing SMS working. Now here's a random addition, an e-commerce store. So now you're going to be able to create a store by clicking here to create a store and then you're randomly going to create some e-commerce store with e-commerce products that you're going to need to find to sell and then you're going to need to set up your e-com store and then figure out how to drive traffic to this e-com store. Again, no training on that inside of the dashboard here. Traffic marketing analysis. Some random set of tools, visitor analytics, website analytics, rank analytics, keyword analytics. Let's test this right here. Keyword analytics, keyword analyzer. Let's go ahead and look here for some keywords, domain name. Let's go with nichehacks.com and analyze nichehacks.com for keywords because they are a well-known site. Oh no, a PHP error was encountered. So that does not work. Again, this is May 7th, 2021. This launches tomorrow, May 8th. Moving on, back to the main menu. Let's go down to backlink and ping analysis. Backlink generator, actions. So you wanna create some backlinks. Here, this is supposed to create backlinks for you to a domain here. Let's go and say, let's go ahead and check the authority of this backlink right here to see how good this backlink will be for us when we link it to our domain. So to analyze this backlink or the value that this backlink will give us. We'll go ahead and we will copy that domain right there, the first one. We'll head over to Moz and we will use their Link Explorer and we're going to check out some of the details that this is going to tell us when we actually take a look at this domain on the same host.com. The domain authority of 31, ranking keywords of six, and we'll come here and we'll click on spam score. A spam score of 41%. Of course, 41% being a high number means that it is not good. Let's go ahead and compare that to something like we used earlier and we'll use nichehacks.com and we will analyze nichehacks.com. You can see here it has a domain authority of 45, but the spam score is 3%. So that's just a quick look at the value of some of the links that you see here and the fact that they are not going to help you, but they are going to harm you. Moving on, utility tools, encoder, decoder, meta tag generator, valid email check. Now these are all great tools, but they are not traffic tools per se. G zip check, robot code generator, base 64 encoder, decoder, the question here is why do you need these tools? Plagiarism checker, this might be valuable. We'll go ahead and we will check this. We'll check that by going to nichehacks.com. We'll open up nichehacks and let's just scroll down and let's just grab this copy right here from the post and we will post this in and then we will run the plagiarizer checker search. 100% unique. Interesting, how can it be 100% unique? Because you saw that I just copied that word for word from niche hacks. So what's this trying to do? Not exist, upload, not exist, not exist, plagiarism checker, text, files, info. What is it trying to do? 
checklist. So again, I'm not sure it says 100% unique, but like I showed you, I just copied it from an article on Niche Hacks, so apparently that doesn't work either. So let's go back over here. Website comparison, compare websites. Example.com to example.com slash two, search. Please enter URL. So we'll compare nichehacks.com to nicheforever.com just to see what this tool does. So it gives us a report that shows us that niche hacks has been shared 382 times, niche forever zero times, okay, updated time, description. What good does this actually do us? I'm at a loss. I'm not really sure why I need this tool, but it is available for you if you purchase this. URL shortener. Here you go, you can use Bitly or you can use Rebrandly. Of course, you could go to bitly.com and rebrandly.com and you could just use those sites there. You don't really need Aurora to do that. Those are free services. Of course, if you wanna pay, you can pay and use the paid version of those. But again, you don't need Aurora to do that. So the benefits of Aurora, finally end the traffic problem. I'm not sure how this ends your traffic problem, as the only thing Aurora had for traffic was inside of Social Blast, which was a list of social media accounts and email. So you could send an email or you could share it to Pocket or RenRen or WeChat or you could share it to a WordPress site. If we were to click on this, what does this actually do? It takes you where you would need to log into your WordPress.com site and share it on a site that you would have to create. So again, finally in your traffic problems, no latest cutting edge technology. All this is is a dashboard that links out to other technology. 500 traffic sources from one dashboard. You saw the traffic sources, again, social media and things like wordpress.com. Find hot offers directly from the app. We took a look at that. All you need to do is go to JVZoo, Warrior Plus, and ClickBank and get all the information that you need to know if you want to promote an offer or not. Leverage videos without creating one. 100 videos template included on the front end. Oh yeah, I forgot. Let's go back to the video editor. Yes, I am done. I still don't know how to download the video because the download button doesn't actually download the video. All it does is render the video and it is stuck in preview mode. Let's try this again. Download. Again, auto-saving. Yes, I am done. And it's just stuck here in preview mode. So if you were to buy a copy of Aurora and you actually get to download a video, go ahead and leave it in the comments how that works. I'd be interested to know. This is a hard pass. No thank you, Aurora. Just another shiny object that is not needed to create a business. All you need to create a business is the internet, a computer, web hosting, email, autoresponder, create content. And if you don't know how to work any of those things, there is free training in the link in the description and the pen first comment. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up. 30 minute timer right here. Click that subscribe to the channel and I'll talk to you later. Bye.